Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, December 15th. It's the third week in Advent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 45. And Matthew 24, verse 32 to 44. And please join me in singing the first verse of On Jordan's Bank. On Jordan's bank the Baptist's cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Psalm 45, and please recite it with me. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. My tongue is nimble like the pen of a scribe. You, O King, are fairer than the children of the earth. Grace is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forever. O mighty warrior, gird your sword upon your thigh, and with your glory and your majesty, and in your majesty ride triumphantly for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness, and your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Your arrows pierce the hearts of your enemies, and peoples fall beneath you. O God, your throne is forever and ever. Your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. O King, you love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your peers. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes. Out of the ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. The daughters of kings are among your honorable ladies. On your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your lord. Worship him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The princess is glorious in her chamber, her clothing woven with gold. She is brought to you in many colored robes, and her virgin companions follow her. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into your palace. In the place of your ancestors shall be your children. You will make them rulers in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered by all generations. And therefore the people praise you forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 24, beginning at verse 32. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were so, were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together. One will be taken and one will be left. 
Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray, hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and Paul, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Most Holy Jesus, brother and savior, we acknowledge you as our sovereign and to you our praise is due. Accept these our humble prayers, which we offer in thanksgiving for your majesty and glory. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.